Hello everyone. Today we'll learn how to track the location of an email in Gmail. If a VPN was used, however, it will show a different location. I'll demonstrate that in today's video as well. Note, it may not always show the exact location, but the location it shows will usually be close by. You can find the sender's exact location from the IP by looking up the ISP. To get the precise location, you'll need help from the local ISP. Right now, there's an email in my spam folder. An acquaintance sent me two spam emails to investigate. The first one simply says, thank you for signing up. The second is a fraudulent offer, a typical 419 scam that promises a huge amount in US dollars and says you'll get a 50% share. In today's video, I'll show you how to trace the source of that scam email step by step. To find out where it came from, we need to open its header. Click the three dots next to the message, then select show original. That will open the full email header with all the message information. From there, highlight and copy the header to your clipboard. We'll use that next to trace the source. MX Toolbox, email header analysis. Go to mxtoolbox.com slash email headers dot ASPX and paste your email header. It will perform automatic analysis. It shows the IP address and location, completely free to use. Notes from the analysis, SPF, sender policy framework. Check status, pass, but SPF, F passing does not guarantee the email is legitimate. The email is not on any blacklist. Limitations of MX Toolbox. It only checks technical authentication. It does not analyze content. It cannot detect scam patterns. If we paste the copied header into Google Admin Toolbox at toolbox.googleapps.com slash apps slash message header slash analyze header, it will show SPF status as pass and display the IP address. We can also track the email using this IP, and by looking at it, we can determine roughly where the message came from. Next, we'll use IP2, Location Email Tracer, a really handy tool for tracing email IPS. When you paste the IP, it returns detailed geolocation data, the country, region, and city, exact coordinates, the ISP and domain, zip code, area, and ID decodes, district, ASN number, and other info. Those coordinates are especially useful. Copy them and paste into Google Maps and it will show the location directly. Keep in mind this gives an approximate location tied to the IP, not always the sender's exact physical address. It's showing a location here, usually somewhere close by. Using the IP and the ISP information, you can often pinpoint the sender's exact location. Now we'll find the sender's ISP information using ipgeolocation.io. Paste the sender's IP into the site and it will display geolocation details. If you click the coordinates, it will open the map and show the location close to the previous result. From that page, copy the ASN number and search it. The ASN will reveal which ISP owns that IP range and give you the ISP's contact details. With that ISP information, you can request more precise data from them. That's how you can trace the sender more accurately. But remember, you'll usually need the ISP's cooperation for exact location, and VPNs or proxies can hide the real origin. The next message is from a scammer. It falsely claims to be from the chief risk officer at Emirates Bank and promises half of a huge US dollar payout the classic 419 style advance fee scam. They try to get your bank account information and ask for upfront payments or processing fees. Don't fall for it. Never share bank details or pay any advance fees. In this video, we'll trace the email's header and IP to show where it really came from and I'll explain how to report it safely. As before, click the three dots next to the email. Choose show original to open the full header. Then highlight and copy the header to your clipboard. We'll use it for tracing the source. What the scammers are doing, they've hacked a user account. In this case, a JCOM customer account was compromised. They're sending the scam from legitimate infrastructure using JCOM's authorized mail servers. So technically the messages look like they come from JCOM. That's why SPF shows as pass. The email really is being sent from a JCOM server. The IP belongs to another JCOM mail server that's listed in JCOM's SPF record. So the message passes authentication even though it's part of a scam. 
Put simply, it's like a thief stealing the bank's own car to rob the bank. SPF shows pass because the email really comes from a JCOM authorized server, but the scammers have hacked into that server and are using it. Here you can see the IP extracted from the mail header using Google Admin Toolbox. When we paste that header or IP into IP to location, it returns detailed, real looking information, country, city, ISP, and even coordinates. Scammers rely on this to make their messages look legitimate so ordinary users won't suspect a scam. I'll copy the coordinates and paste them into Google Maps. That will show the location on the map. The map is showing a point in Japan. It displays where the server appears to be located, but that doesn't mean the scammer is physically there. They're abusing another party's server or a hacked account so the visible location can be misleading. In practice, many advanced fee and phishing scams often originate from places such as Nigeria, Pakistan, India, Indonesia. I'll warn viewers to be extra cautious. Never share bank details or pay advanced fees and report any suspicious messages. This IP will return the same location result. To verify, open ipetrackeronline.com, paste the IP address, and submit it. The site will show the location on Google Maps. Note that IPE Tracker Online only allows two lookups per day, so use them wisely. Also remember, the map shows where the IP or server is located, which may not be the scammer's real physical location if they're using a hacked server or proxy. To report a spam email, click the three dots, select Report Phishing, and submit the message. You can also report to the bank or company official email of anyone misusing your information. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and comment to let me know what topics you want to see next. If you have any questions, post them in our Facebook group. I don't offer any services. Be careful of scammers in the comments. Thanks for watching.